increasing the bass in audio in Vegas Pro. This has always been a feature that is not obvious for those who have not done it in a program before. Once you know how to do it, it's an easy task to perform. In versions Vegas Pro 15 and beyond, track EQ has been hidden from users, and today I'll show you how to get it back to how it used to be. As you can see, this is the default screen that you should be presented with, unless you adjusted the layout of course. Down here, there are a lot less icons than in versions before 15, including the lack of audio track effects. This is something we'll need to increase the bass in our track. To get track EQ back onto your timeline, you're going to need to change the window layout to Vegas 14 default. You can get this layout by holding the Alt and D keys and then pressing V. Otherwise, you can head up to View, Window Layouts, Vegas 14 default. Now we've changed to the old layout, there will be many new windows missing. An example of this is Project Notes. You can manually enable these in View, Window, and select the ones that are missing, like Project Notes here. I have the custom window layout, which is based on Vegas 14, and I'm going to label that now. Custom layouts are stored in View, Window Layouts, and in this area down here. Now you're going to want to collect your audio. I'm going to drag mine into the timeline, yours is probably already there. Here's our audio right now. That is with no bass. So to add bass, head over to this icon down here, named Track FX. Left click it, and you should be taken to Track EQ. If you're not, simply click the icon up here. Make sure it's enabled. And to add bass, simply adjust this one icon by moving it up and keeping it to the left until you reach your desired result. Usually you don't want this too high or your audio may become distorted. You can ignore these other icons. Also make sure this is enabled. Now it's time for a comparison. When this box is unchecked, the bass boost won't be in action. When it's checked, it will be. <laughs> If you prefer to just apply the audio effect to one clip, simply click the FX icon on the clip. Double click track EQ and head over to OK. Then you can repeat the process here. 